All right, well, let's kick things off in the kitchen because, um, first of all, we're always hungry, and secondly, this is a really good <laughs> recipe. And if you know us, you know that that is so true. We are always hungry here yes, on Sonoran yes. Living. And uh, we are here today for with... Fish. For fish and dessert and anything from Chef Christopher and uh, Crush Lounge. How are you today? Very good, very good. What are we cooking today? We're chicken, I know. Never mind, I know what we're cooking. Um, chicken in a red wine sauce with parsnip puree. So, mm -hmm. you know, something different instead of mashed potatoes or something like that. And corn. Corn is available now and it's now, really tasty. You never hear chicken with red wine. Did you say red wine? Or oh, wine? you do all the time. Don't you point do? your finger at me. No, did I? Because <laughs> it's usually chicken with white wine, isn't it? Um, it, it it depends Stephanie, on help me how out on this. you prepare the chicken. Chicken with have you ever had chicken with a red wine, red sauce? It's always white, isn't it? Uh, I don't know, a red wine reduction? Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, All right. Yeah. All right. Well, there's a very famous dish in this in France with chicken and red wine. All right. Well, I'm excited very, to, very to try it. I'll tell you if I like it. Okay. I'm sure I will. <laughs> <laughs> how do we start? Uh, well, so we we have I'm going to show you all the ingredients. We have some chicken breast. Mm -hmm. We have some fresh corn. Uh, those are pearl onions that could be shallots if you like. Uh, here I have some already parsnip puree done. Here I have a parsnip. Okay. Got some cubed carrots and um, shallots or onions and garlic. Some fresh thyme, basil, butter, a little cream, and some olive oil. Now, did you um, did you have to do anything to this, or literally, it is just the parsnips and parsnip, that's it? a little cream, and a little butter. Okay. So what we do is we just cube up. We peel the parsnip, mm -hmm. cube it up. I just put it in a in a pan, okay. And then we add s some cream. Now, if you want, you could add. You want you want to make it a little lighter. You could add a little water, and okay. you know, make it a little more of a low cow dish. And I'm just going to put that up there. And what we do is we just let that cook for like 15 or so minutes till they're tender. Okay. And then when they're tender, we put it in your food processor. And add the butter to that. And or? add the butter, salt, and pepper. Or you could push it through a, a small sieve mm -hmm. with a spatula and then season it with salt and pepper. Like I said, I already have some done. Can you do that ahead of time so you could... Oh, you can do it the day before. Okay. And can you freeze it too? Or, or um, when you thaw it out, I would, thawed I out, it would... I freeze it. Okay. But, I mean, it's so easy to make. It, the, the easiest way, actually, to make it is just do what I'm doing here with a little cream. Mm -hmm. And then if you make... This is a small portion, so if you're doing, like, for six or seven people, it's going to be uh, much bigger. And you just put it in a blender. Put the top on, blend it, add salt, pepper, a little Done. butter. Done. Okay. And you could have chives, uh, uh, tarragon to it, anything you absolutely want. I can see your wheel spinning, just yeah. everything that you can add to it. <laughs> well, you can add any kind of flavor that you like. And then if you have a lot left over, you just keep it. The next day, just add some chicken stock to it mm -hmm. and bring it to a simmer. And you have a wonderful soup, parsnip soup. Parsnip soup? Good. Okay. okay. So. So that's going to heat up. Heat up. And that'll puree. And then the next thing, we get a chicken breast, and we're going to saute it in a little... This chicken breast? Mm -hmm. Olive oil? A little olive... Well, that's just a little blend of olive oil and canola oil. So, because olive oil has a, a low flash point, mm -hmm. and it burns. Okay. And then canola has a higher one, so this one just gives right a little flavor. And one thing I always like to do when I'm browning something... You add butter to the oil? Add just a little bit of butter. How come? Well, it lets me know when the pan's hot. And on this stove, it, it, it could let me know, like, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that you don't like our stove? I would never it's say that. It's just a little different than the ones you have at the restaurant, I'm sure. A, l a little bit. Oh, um, well, that's a good idea. So when it melts, you know you're good. Well, when it starts to brown, you know that the pan's nice and hot. Okay. So we're leaving the skin on and a little salt and pepper. I got a little cracked pepper here. And then we're going to pretend the pan's hot. <laughs> and because we want it to, uh, it's not to really going to sizzle. Siz oh, just pretend that? that it's sizzling. Okay. Oh, I hear. I do hear, hear sizzling in my ear. Do you hear sizzling at home, <laughs> Brendan? Do you hear the sizzle? Yep. So you know it's browning. We don't want to keep it browning too long because we might burn okay, it. Okay, wait. It's sizzling. <laughs> there you go. So get that. There you Here, go. We'll just hold that pan down. Oh yeah, it's so hot. I can crack <laughs> you can it. touch it. <laughs> and it's been on for ten minutes. But okay, anyway, that's enough. Christopher. So anyway, so we're going to salt the other side too. Okay. So when the, when it's nice and brown, we're going to add the shallots or, or onions, chopped onions, carrots, and a little smash clove. You want to smash that? Wait. Okay. Yeah, don't cut yourself. Like this? Yeah. 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 yeah, and yeah. then you just Easy. hit it? Yeah, 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 but make sure the knife's down a little bit. Like that? Yeah. Easy? Yeah, there we go. 
Very good. Yay! And we just throw that in there. And then that's going to give flavor too, and we'll throw the carrots and onions. And then once it's nice and brown, we're going to add the red wine. And we're going to add... It's going to uh, start to smell good here in just a second. Okay, so we'll sort of stop what we're doing here. We'll come back, and um, we're going to not finish it. We're just nope. going to continue it. Oh. Continue to cook. <laughs>